Good afternoon everybody, it's midday on Sunday. Just thought I'd do a wee vlog from home today. Hope you enjoy it. If you feel like subscribing, please do so. The subscribers are going up, so thank you to all that have subscribed. And please, if you would like to, just hit that button. Anyway, I'll show you where we are. There we go. I'm on the top of Dundonald Hill, which is outside of Trun. And I'm looking towards... The heads of air. There's air in the foreground down there, and the heads of air. Nearly as high as the plane coming into Preswick. Coming down, that's Ailsa Craig, right in the middle of the picture now. And coming round, virtually see the whole of Trun. Uh, to the left of Ailsa Craig, hopefully you can maybe see it, I'll try and zoom in a wee bit. There's a building round about there, that's the Marina Tell, which is obviously on Royal Troon Golf Course. So we'll come back out, down towards Troon Harbour, and the town itself. And we'll go in a wee bit closer again and we're going up towards Zarin as you see in the distance and up the coast from here towards Irvine, Saltcoats and at the headland there is Adrossen and Rick and Shelley, Rick will know this very well, he used to work in Adrossen at Evans Halshaw, the garage there so if you haven't had a wee look at Rick and Shelley's channel have a wee look at that and there we go and coming back round you've got Troon Harbour the island of Troon that's Lady Isle that appears on one of my vlogs when we're coming into land at Presswick Airport and we'll come back round and that's you back round to the heads of air back up the hill road there's the buggy and looking down and this is the Donald Hill Road coming out of Troon. There we go. Right, I was on my way back down the hill so I thought I'd stop off here. This is the Highgrove House Hotel and it's sort of positioned sort of halfway up the hill going up to the top of Dundonald Hill so you get some great views. I'll go round to the restaurant part which is all glass and you'll see what I mean from there when I get round there. Just follow me round. So when it clears up and it gets a wee bit warm it's a nice place to sit out at night for a beer or two. I'll go round and see if I can get a bit closer. There There's the sun terrace. Obviously they haven't got the chairs and everything out just now because as I say it is the end of February. But you can imagine the view you get from the top there overlooking the Ayrshire countryside. As you can see we've significantly come down a wee bit lower looking along the coast. Still a nice view though, even from here. But up in the hotel it's quite spectacular. It's a lovely place to sit and have dinner. There's the restaurant. Well part of the restaurant and the Sun Terrace which as I say in the summer is really quite lovely sitting up there having a wee beer overlooking the coast there's the road to the right of me where I just came down and there we go Highgrove House Hotel with panoramic views over the Ayrshire coast few folk in having breakfast by the looks of things or an early lunch pays your money takes your choice we'll go around here there we go that's us up on the terrace as I said it affords a lovely view from up here nice place to sit, have something to eat, 
a natter, a couple of drinks. There we go. Now if I stay around this corner here, there's a Ryanair plane doing circuits just now, so we might pick it up on the camera. It's just gone overhead. It's doing the north circuit today. There we go, just at the top of the tree. Heading round. I've come down from Dundonald Hill and I'm now at my rugby club. There's a lot of things in Troon named after C.K. Ma who bequeathed a lot of, lot of money to the town. In fact, the secondary school was built by a contribution from his estate and that's why it's known as Ma College. And this is Ma Rugby Club, which is actually going to be used during the open for a campsite. And obviously, if you're camping up here, you'll be able to use the facilities in the clubhouse, which is over there, next to the Patank Court. And you'll be able to shower, use the restaurant, use the bar, squash courts, etc. Now, I'm up in the Fullerton Estate, and as the old estate, this used to be the stable block but it's now been converted several years ago into a lovely selection of Muse cottages. There we go. Just keep... Don't want to invade anybody's privacy that lives here. But there we go. This used to be the old stable block. And as I say, it's now lovely Muse cottages. There we go. So this is the Fullerton Estate. As I say, Troon Patank Club playing their Sunday games and they'll probably end up going into the rugby club for a wee beer afterwards as you do. Hiya, how you doing? So this is the Fullerton Estate and we're going to take a right here which takes us up the bridle path and straight on through the trees as a the Loch Green Golf Course, which is a part of the three municipal golf courses in Trun. You've got the Darley, the Loch Green and the Fullerton. Fullerton being the short course, the other two the longer courses. In fact, they've actually used the Loch Green for Open Championship qualifying going back a few years. But there we go. So it just shows you they're pretty good golf courses. I'm coming round here. That's the back of Fullerton courtyard which have just been in the inside of the courtyard and if you notice round here there's loads of snowdrops just watch myself walking along here because although pedestrians have got the right way just in case there we go fields and fields of snowdrops probably just at the end of the flowering season but there we go and um, we're coming up here to the bridle path and the car park. The kids have got uh, climbing frames and an activity centre. But these paths go for miles dotted round the town through the golf course. I won't do them all today, but there we go. So there's plenty of nice walks even in land. The horses are out this morning using it. Obviously the bridle paths. But there we go. Coming back to the car now, so we'll continue our journey on. Okay, I've come down from Fullerton Woods and I'm now in the outskirts of Trun itself. This is the Piersland House Hotel. The wee smoky cabin there for the folk that like a fag. Now, there's quite a bit of history about this house. This house, when it was a house, was owned by Sir Alexander Walker of Johnny Walker fame. And he died with no family, died in Testnet. And the house was in Ragnar ruin for years afterwards. But thankfully, it's all been restored and turned into a lovely country house hotel. Hold a lot of weddings here during the 
summer months and it's now been extended and bits added on but the bits that have been added on have been very much in keeping with the main part of the building and they've also used some of the grounds to build some used cottages which are out here and they sort of surround the hotel these are all been taken during the open by the RNA there we go and a lot of their staff will be here because they'll be here for two to three months at least as of the next couple of weeks I think it's the middle of March we start for the construction phase of the open so there we are this is the grounds of the Piersland House Hotel originally the house of Alexander Walker of Johnny Walker the whiskey people so this is the entrance to the Piersland House Hotel and if you see here there's a plaque the former residence of Sir Alexander Walker, Chairman and Managing Director of Johnny Walker Whiskey and grandson of the founder. It's a very oldie world, it's lovely in here. This is one of the restaurants. One of three areas that they use for dining. There we go. As you'll see it's very traditional beams, etc. And it's been converted in a very sympathetic way. We've kept a lot of the old original features. Yeah, good, thanks. Sorry, yeah, that's a wee bit of the interior of the Pearson House Hotel. Obviously, I couldn't show too much because there was people having lunch. Don't want to disturb their privacy, but there we go. Okay, onwards, as they say. Inside the Marine Hotel, this is the dining room. Well, one of the dining rooms called the Rabbit after the 17th hall at Royal Trent. And this is the seal after the second hall at Royal Troon. There we go. Lovely lounge. Sorry. Reception area. Gonna nip up the stairs. Some of the rooms in the marine are named after past champions at Royal Tree. There's the Bobby Lock Suite. Hi, Hi how are you doing? I'm good. good. Sweet now, Arthur Havers. Of course, an Englishman that won the open all the way, way back. Uh, Tom Watson Sweet. Good, there was a quick look around the Marina Tail. A nice place to sit and pass the time. You can have a wee high tea or your lunch out in the terrace in the summer. And you overlook the 18th at Rodron. And there's the clubhouse in the distance which will be a lot busier than this in a few months time so there we go that's my wee tour of roundabout Troon today hope you enjoyed that wee whistle top tour 
round about. It really is quite warm today when the sun comes out. Certainly a lot better than it has been. So thank you for watching. If you think about it and you like the content, please subscribe. There's a lot more videos on the channel. So a wee bit different today, video from home. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so and we'll catch you on the next one.